think one day, it wasn't too long ago, Svava said, there's this movie, The Great Hack, uh, on Netflix. And I said, okay, let's watch it. And I was like, hmm, I, I would consider showing this to my beloveds. <laughs> because um, some of you have, have heard, what was the name of that 1984 book about uh, Big Brother? Yeah. 1984. <laughs> that 1984 book. You know, about Big Brother and Big Brothers watching you and so forth. And then uh, some of us said, Jason, Jason's dad was a great conspiracy theorist, so he grew up hearing all the great conspiracy theories about what's happening and what, what's being done to human beings and how human beings are being manipulated and so on and so forth. And now we've got all these great movies, including The Matrix, we've got these great metaphysics of the Course where Jesus is saying, well, it's, like I said earlier, it's just that as long as you believe in the ego, then the ego is distracting you from who you really are. And you're having a difficult experience with this alternate self that God didn't create. So, this movie is a documentary, and uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, I think uh, one of the main characters, uh, his name is David. And uh, he's got some children, and, and he wants to love them, and and protect them, and he wants them to have a wonderful future, and he just wants to give all of his love to them, and he starts discovering a little bit about the information age, and even with his, his daughter, uh, you know, um, wanting to download all these apps. Dad, there's a cool app, another app, another app, and he kind of takes a look at the apps to kind of read the, the policy, you know, the fine print with the apps. Like, what is the app really doing? Is it, is it uh, recording your messages? Is it, what is it taking from you? And he's concerned to protect his daughters, and so he, his daughter, he's, he checks it out. He reads the small print. But anyway, this um, will lead to a documentary about, um, about data, the collection of data. And um, it's kind of interesting when you think about data, even in this information age, is it, it's really all about, again, that small self, that personality self. All the, the shopping preferences, and the political preferences, and the, the decisions and choices that human beings seem to make every day. That seems to make them unique, and individual, and different from the other seven billion. It's like, you might call the data is almost like your, your preference configuration. <laughs> and, and imagine if somebody was watching or recording or capturing that, they would just have a good snapshot of what you believe to be in this world. And then when we talk about what's the purpose of that data, what is that data being used for, and so on and so forth, then we start to get deeper into what we talked about this morning. Really purpose is the most important thing. Everything in the world is actually neutral, but it's the purpose to which it's put forth that's important. Am I letting the Holy Spirit use what the ego may help me unwind me from the ego, which would be a helpful use, or am I allowing the ego to use what the ego made, these symbols and images, to keep me trapped in a small identity? That's really a uh, this small identity is really fake news. <laughs> uh, the very identity is, but, but to the mind that believes the body is real, the person is real, then there's all kinds of emotions that are going to keep coming up and coming up because of this investment in this false reality. So, I may pause the movie a little bit. This is not, I mean, sometimes I and with a group of people, and we go into a movie, and it's, it requires a lot of Holy Spirit commentary even to stay with the movie, uh, because there's, there's so much there, but you have to be primed to, to what to look for. This movie I, is more one of those mind watchers where I just want you to, 
to just watch your emotions as this movie plays because that will start to give you an inroad into some of the, the, the beliefs and thoughts that you're still holding on to. So you can see from that perspective is very valuable. It's anything that you watch, anything that you perceive, and you start to feel a little uneasy or a little uncomfortable with, then that's actually helpful. Not the, the feeling of the discomfort, but, but it's like the beginning, the tip of the iceberg into what's underneath these uncomfortable feelings. I want the peace of God. I want joy. I want consistent happiness. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. I don't want to feel like I'm at the mercy of a world. I want to see that I'm the dreamer of the dream and then I can change the purpose of this dream to a, a happy dream by not judging it. That to me was the most powerful teaching that Jesus offered us was judge not lest ye be judged because he knew that when the mind is attempting to judge, it's attempting something that's very unnatural and it also keeps you stuck in a misidentification. It keeps you stuck in, in a concept of yourself that is not the real you. And uh, just like the ancient Greeks said, know thyself, you know, really know the truth of who you really are. That's what the ancient Greeks were teaching, that's what Jesus was teaching, that's what Buddha, you know, all the great masters are teaching uh, self-realization. So tonight is like, let those emotions up, don't censor them and try to be a good core student, smile your way through the movie, you know, let those emotions up and then we'll work on processing and preparing and, and then Francis's Take Me Home movie is going to be a great experience too because it's, it's so pointed at, uh, at healing, uh, at really directing yourself toward that healing and allowing yourself to be given over, let your mind be given over to it, to the healing process, letting those emotions up and then you'll have tonight to pray, go to sleep, let it percolate and then we'll have a whole day tomorrow to, to dive in deeper with Jesus' help to get underneath those emotions so that you can, as Morpheus said, free your mind. You know, that's the, the whole point of it.